Hi guys, thanks for checking out my video. I'll be smoking a bone-in turkey breast today and I'll season it with some Bezel's Cajun seasoning. I've already got my grill set up for smoking and if you need to know how to do that, I'll, uh, I'll put a link to another video in the description. I'll be using apple wood today and the uh, temperature range that I'm shooting for is about 300 degrees and that's a little higher than what I usually use but um, Today where I'm doing a turkey breast, I want the skin to brown nice and to crisp up really good. I've got about a seven pound turkey breast here and it's bone in. I already uh, used a dry brine on this and left it in the refrigerator covered in that for about 12 or 14 hours. Then I took it off and rinsed it out. And if you're interested in doing that, I suggest it. I will put the ingredients and the recipe to that brine in the description. I'm first going to inject it with some melted butter I'm just going to heat it in a couple places here. And you'll lose a little bit sometimes, but that's fine. Step two, I'm just going to coat the outside. This skin with some uh, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. Give it a good little coating. Just rub that all over it. This will help the skin brown up real nice and crisp up. And it also help this uh, Bezel's Cajun seasoning that I'm using. It'll help it stick to it pretty good too. I'm just going to coat it in that really good. I've got an onion cut up. I'm just going to put this inside the cavity. You can use oranges or apples or any kind of fruit that you want. It gives it a little extra flavor. And I'm also going to put a, about a half of a stick of butter in there. That's what I had left after I melted some to inject it with. And this is ready to put on the grill. Now I've got the turkey ready and uh, we've got the grill ready. I'm going to go ahead and just put it on the grate. You can leave it in a pan if you want to. Um, but I'm just going to cook mine directly on the grate and hope that it gets the skin gets crisped up really nice. All right, we're at the one hour mark and I'm gonna go ahead and um, baste the turkey with a little bit of melted butter. As you can see, it's getting some nice color already. This will just give it a little more flavor and help keep that color developing really nice. I've had my top vent open about halfway and I've got my bottom vent open about a third right now. Been maintaining uh, 300 degrees pretty good. It's a little windy out here today, but other than that, it's pretty good conditions. The temperature is really nice. Good pretty day here. We're going to try to cook this until it gets to about 165 degrees internally. I anticipate that take a couple more hours probably, uh, this being a seven, about a seven pound turkey breast. But we'll go ahead and put the lid back on and I'll see you all again in about an hour. Hey guys, we're at the two hour mark. Um, I'm gonna baste it one more time. I actually uh, stuck a thermometer in there a couple minutes ago and it was about 160 degrees, 160 uh, between that 165. We're shooting for 165 degrees in there. So I'm gonna give it just a few more minutes and we'll probably be ready to pull off the grill. We'll hit it with some butter one more time all over. If you can see that skin is crisped up and it's got some really nice color to it. Can't wait to uh, cut into this and try it in just a little while. Just pour the rest of this over the top of it. Can never go wrong with butter, right? I'm going to put the lid back on here one more time and the next time that you see me I'll be ready to pull this uh, turkey off. See y'all in a few minutes. The turkey reached 165 degrees so we went ahead and pulled it off and I've let it rest for a few minutes. Now I'm going to cut into it. I'm going to take this carving knife and just kind of go along the breastbone.
you haven't already tried it, you need to get some of that B-Sales Cajun seasoning. I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, also, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and watch some more of my videos. God bless you.